Jam. You love the first Space Jam because you were like eight. Now <laughs> it's time for the next generation to get their own Looney Tunes NBA crossover. But while the first one was merely inspired by a commercial, the all new sequel just is a commercial. Yes. Skip that. <laughs> <laughs> Show them who you really are, Notorious B.I.G. <laughs> what in the Matrix hell? He goes on like this for like two hours. <laughs> Space Jam 2, A New Legacy. Since 96, Warner Brothers has been searching for an athlete big enough to fill Michael Jordan's enormous jeans. <laughs> and after waiting for decades, they shrug and settle for LeBron James, the Michael Jordan of leaving for a better team. Oh, Ran out of teams to play for? He's a basketball icon who refuses to shut up and dribble. In fact, he'll say everything from what? 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 To what the? What the? What the? What the? What the? <laughs> to a tiny? Ah. Uh, <laughs> in a performance that uses the latest in practical and digital effects to fix his airline. MJ would never. Watch as a guy who's known for being electrifying on the court and a corny goofball off it is cast as a joyless grump who plays boring basketball. Everything in between these four lines is work. And when his son Dom gets kidnapped by his nemesis, a cleverly named villain will win the kid over by showing him all the love and encouragement he's missing at home, forcing the dad to round up a bunch of cartoonish misfits from a land where they don't age <laughs> and convince them to help him fight back against the bad guy until he learns to let loose, have some fun, and believe he can fly. <laughs> Bang-a-rang! Bang-a-rang! Hey, can we just watch Hook instead? Thank you. <laughs> Don Cheadle co-stars as a slightly different kind of war machine, Al G. Rhythm. Slightly different. He's got a plan to steal all of LeBron's social media followers. And, like, have fun with that, dude. <laughs> He'll do it by kidnapping some of basketball's most available talent at the time of filming, all to beat LeBron at his son's at blatant NBA Jam ripoff. Plus, he wants to kill the Looney Tunes, I think? <laughs> it gets kind of murky. Honestly, once the horny nuns and the Iron Giant showed up, I just tuned out and scanned the background for Easter eggs. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that, Jabberjaw. Mm. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? It's the Looney Tunes. They may have peaked during the Korean War, but that won't stop them from doing all the latest memes of 2003. Oh, my goodness, thank you. There's Bugs Bunny, who turns in a performance that can only be described as off-brand Bugs Bunny. <laughs> I'm a tune, Doc. And the return of Lola Bunny, a rabbit I'd like to f flatter because of her strong work <laughs> ethic. Yeah, that's it. But who cares about the Looney Tunes? This movie sure no. doesn't. What they no. really want to showcase is Warner's exciting catalog of properties that they've run into the ground. From the hit show that got yep. ruined by its last two seasons. The Brandon of House Stock to the hit films that got ruined by their last two sequels. <laughs> Chateau Aubryon, 1959. Magnificent wine. I love French wine. To the hit franchise that's being ruined by J.K. Rowling's last two brain cells. <laughs> Honestly, this movie should have focused on Wile E. Coyote, oh, if anyone. He put up 524 points in the final game. MVP! MVP! <laughs> So enjoy the film equivalent of a genetic mistake begging to be put out of its misery with a villain who embodies a creatively bankrupt movie studio <laughs> staffed by incompetent executives. A new idea from the algorithm. I'm listening. Some of the greatest 2D animated characters of all time transformed into CGI freaks against their will. Cock do do <laughs> not do that. And a hero <laughs> who laments how corporations force IPs to cross over for cash. They all left! Then does exactly that. But who cares? It's just a dumb kids movie. As long as they have that come on and slam song in there, we'll call it even. Come on, slam! <laughs> or no one will feel welcome at your jam! <laughs> Starring. You couldn't even include that. Cleveland Steamer. Say Doc again. I dare you. Big Chungus. That's Big Chungus. Personal foul. Nice try, movie, but I'm also horny for solid basketball fundamentals. Ham and M. La Dub James. Sorry, don't get cross. Gotcha. Come on, bro. <laughs> this character wasn't even in the script. Don just showed up on Molly and started talking like this. Oh, they're alive! Alive! <laughs> Rapists, right. child murderers, and a woman who tortures and imprisons her disabled sister. Good oh, thing they geez. cut Pepe Le Pew out of this movie. Whew, that could have been problematic. Huh. 
It's not TV. It's an ad for HBO. <laughs> Did a video game write this movie? It's like basketball, but better. But everybody on the team plays video LeBron. games. LeBron. Dom built a video game. Oh, nice. Your own video game. Let's get a look at that game of yours. Hey, if I'm going to be in this game, I need a superpower or something. I need one of those special modes. Your game is amazing, son. Style points. Power up. <laughs> See, kids, playing video games do pay off. All right, we watched the pitch meeting. Now we got the honest trailer. Both really good. I think the pitch meeting obviously is it's just better uh, in comparison between the two. But the honest trailer is able to do more when it comes to making its own trailer and taking a lot of the scenes from the trailer and mashing it together into its own form of comedy. So I thought they did a really good job here. But if I had to compare to the verses, the pitch meeting is much better. But still very funny. I like the part with Lola Bunny. Obviously, that's really hilarious. They they highlighted a lot of the things that were controversial about the movie, at least leading up to the movie. Pepe Le Pew being taken out, but then after the movie, finding out there's so many controversial characters still in the movie. Why'd you take him out? Uh, Lola Bunny, obviously. The fact that both movies are still pretty bad as far as the original Michael Jordan, Space Jam, and this one. It's still bad overall. They are kids' movies, but again, I still feel like this was still catered towards both or tried because of everything that was showing from those old movies. That's just what it was. But still, funny stuff here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm interested in what you think of this honest trailer for Space Jam and the Legacy. As always, shout out to my hyper crew, Brian Tidwell, Steve O, Slept Near, K6013, Portal on Mobile 44, Dash Milner, and Daniel Lopez. Thanks so much for being a part of the crew. To all my members and subscribers, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, whether it's monetarily or hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. While you're still here, hit that like button. It does help out the channel. Let me know what you guys want to see. Also, check out our most popular videos on the channel. You can see our most recent reaction right up there. If you've seen all that, I'll see you guys in the comments. We'll talk about this.